What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, no beating around the bush, we're gonna get right into it. So last night was a doozy. Nintendo announced all kinds of crazy things, Undertale on Switch, Crash Bandicoot coming to Switch, and then, the bomb, Super Smash Brothers. But of course, ever since that trailer dropped, there's been a lot of debate about whether this is a new game, or just a port of Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. For me, I think it's gonna be a brand new game, and I'm gonna address all the arguments that think otherwise. Argument 1. It's too soon for a new Smash Bros. We have to wait at least like, 6 or 8 years. You do realize the distance between the original Super Smash Bros. and Super Smash Bros. Melee was only 2 years, right? Argument 2. It's releasing the same year it's announced! What?! This is too rushed! Why is this so soon? It's gotta be just a port! Ah! Um, no. If you remember, Sakurai made a big deal about how Super Smash Bros. Brawl stuff got leaked after its release. And then, of course, there was that huge roster leak of Super Smash Bros. 4 a couple months before it got released. Obviously, he wanted to keep this one super quiet and secret, so no secrets would slip out. Now, for the reasons I think this is a brand new game, 1. Breath of the Wild Link, obviously. 2. The new logo, obviously. 3. It says copyright 2018 at the end of the trailer instead of copyright 2014 slash 2018. It says original game at the end of the trailer. The press release says it's an all new game. Sakurai said he's been working on this title in silent day after day. They didn't show us any gameplay yet, why bother hiding it if it's just a port? And this was a brand new style of character trailer. It didn't do the shing at the beginning, and it didn't have that little blank joins the battle card once it became obvious the Inklings were in Smash. Speaking of the Inklings, let's talk about newcomers! Inklings, obviously, because I just said them. But who else? Let's get the big ones out of the way, the third-party characters. You know what? I'm gonna say Rayman's getting in. After that horrible teaser the trophy in Super Smash Bros. Wii U, I think Ubisoft finally learned their lesson and gave Nintendo a definitive edition of Rayman Legends on the Switch, so Rayman could be in Smash. And then of course the big one, the biggity big one that everyone in the comments is going to doubt, I believe, Crash Bandicoot is going to come to Super Smash Bros. Third-party characters are always revealed for Smash at E3, Mega Man and Pac-Man for example. And this year E3 is happening on June 12th, a month before Crash Bandicoot releases on the Switch July 10th. So I believe they're going to announce him at E3 to boost insane sales, and because he deserves it! I mean look at the dude, besides Sonic, he was the only person able to rival Mario. And I don't just mean he teased Mario in some commercials or something, he actually rivaled him in sales and popularity. It was crazy back then. And now Crash is not only making his return to Nintendo consoles after a decade, but he made one of the biggest comebacks in video game history ever. Even as a PlayStation 4 exclusive, the Insane Trilogy was able to sell 4 million copies. Just imagine how many copies will be added once it moves to Xbox, PC, and of course, Nintendo Switch. As much as I'd personally love a Tekken character to slide in there, nobody is more likely and more deserving right now than Crash Bandicoot. As for Nintendo newcomers, we know we're gonna get a new Fire Emblem character, a new Pokemon character, but what about someone I can name? You know what? I think we're getting Springman and Ribbon Girl from ARMS. They're gonna be alternate costumes like the Inklings probably are. I mean, yeah, not a ton of people really care about ARMS, but that didn't stop Shulk from getting in Smash Bros. 4. But up, up, but up, up, up. But honestly, it does just seem like the obvious choice. ARMS is their new Switch IP. Inklings had their time on the Wii U, but they need someone to represent the Switch, so I can see ARMS characters getting in. But anyways, that's all I have for today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back when there's more info to talk about for Super Smash Bros. on the Nintendo Switch. Switch. Leopold the Brave, out.